What up, everybody? It's your boy, CB Sports TV. I'm going to get right to it. As everybody should know by now, Jarrell Miller, Pop Dirty. All I can say is how ironic. How ironic that he Pop Dirty. He was up here accusing AJ of um, getting testosterone exemptions. And, all that. and then you turn around and you Pop Dirty for GW1516, which is... It aids in losing fat and um, increases, you know, your stamina. You know, um, this is real dumb on your part. You had a chance to really set yourself up for life. Even if you would have lost this fight, even though, I, I, even though I picked you to win, but even if you would have lost this fight, you still had life-changing money to set you and your family straight. You would have had bigger fights in the future. As long as you had, had a good showing, could have worked your way back up. This is going to set you back like real bad. I mean, real bad. Jarrell Miller, you messed up big time with this. This is just dumb. This is just dumb on your part. Like, and then for all, of all people, you know, AJ, like, why? You in your backyard in Madison Square Garden and you do this. I just don't get it. I mean, it's just stupid. You just, you set your career back because you best believe that um, the sanction body or bodies gonna throw the book at you. You can be removed from all the sanctioned body rankings. I promise you they are. Not only that, but this is a major blow to Matchroom and the zone. Because who are you gonna get to replace AJ on such short notice? The only logical one who I think would truly take it on such short notice would be Luis Ortiz. But we all know they're not going down that road. We know that. We're not even gonna sit here and play. And act like they are. We know good and damn well they're not for mess with Luis Ortiz. They could do Dillian White, but I mean, anybody gonna want to see that fight? Not not in the, here in the states, and not on the zone. You know, you can do Adam Kalnacki, you know. But it's like, will he take the fight on such short notice? So, you're not a position of power, Eddie Hearn or AJ, or the zone. Y'all, whoever y'all try to get, it needs to be a credible name. It's going to be Michael Hunter. Is That's going to be bad. Like, they'd be lucky if they get 5,000 people, if that, in Madison Square Garden. That's a real bad look for the unified heavyweight champion of the world. It's not a good look at all. Um, it's very, you know, it's unfortunate, you know, that Jerome Miller chose to, you know, to do this and to put this in his body. And this is a very dangerous drug, you know. You want to know more about it, you can go to War Breaker Fight and he can tell you more about it because he looked it up. He can tell you be more. He can be more extensive about it, and let you know exactly what it is. But it's just stupid on Jarrell Miller part. You call yourself career high payday, and they're probably gonna suspend you for a year. You know, and I don't get why you would do this. It just makes no sense. It's just real stupid on your part, Jarrell Miller. It really is. But I mean, that's on you. You did it to yourself, so I don't feel bad for you. Know? I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't. You know, so you knew what you were putting in your body. I'm quite sure you knew that. And if you didn't, you should have educated yourself before you put it in your body. So that's on you. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Jerome Miller Pops Dirty. CB Sports TV. Shout out to the LDBC. I'm out.